triptych of a scene on Riverfront Park in Harrisburg painted by S.B. Fieser decorates the side of the Midtown Scholar Bookstore in Harrisburg. Children play near a mural on Deborah Momie's garage door in Harrisburg. Softball player Jasmine Peck warms up before a crowd mural by artist Max Mason at the City Island batting cages. Look, there goes Jesus, says four-year-old Briel Slocum every time she walks by the mural on Market Street painted by local college students. A Native American, one of several sections of a large mural, watches over a group of women as thousands of people walk by a large mural painted by Wayne Fetro on City Island. A mural painted by theater performer and artist Terry Crotu defines Theater Harrisburg's J. and Nancy Kresge Production Center in Harrisburg. Stacy Valentine and Robin Frost walk past a large mural painted by Tony Truesdale in 1974. They say it reminds them of high school classes they had about the Jim Crow laws. God sisters Lisa Perez and Diona Belcher chat under a mural in Harrisburg, which includes people they know. Rose Adam of Harrisburg often walks past this Underground Railroad mural painted by Tony Truesdale in 1979 as she takes a shortcut to and from the grocery store. York artist Brett Greeman helps kids paint the Voices of Youth mural project, mural titled Imagine, on a water tank at Reservoir Park in Harrisburg. Children play next to a mural of flowers painted on a garage by children of the Pride of the Neighborhood Academy, a daycare center located across the street, and college students from several local colleges. The Mulberry Street Bridge mural by Danzante, which is more than 500 feet long and consists of more than 100 panels, greets people entering the downtown district. A man walks past a frog mural on 15th and Derry Street in Harrisburg. Children of the Pride of the Neighborhood Academy have a class in front of a Ray Charles mural on the site of Sonetta Purdue's house in Harrisburg. 